Hi guys, you're on set with me. Uh, it's the shoot day of my new single, 400 Miles, and I've got the infamous Malusi with me, my makeup artist from YSL. Hello, hi. <laughs> and we are about to shoot the first look of the day, and I suppose it's a very clean, angelic look, coupled with unbelievable hair, um, not all of it's mine, and uh, using a wooden machine, so very dramatic, and singing these beautiful lyrics for, of 400 miles directly to camera, and it's going to be black and white, so um, classic, I hope. Um, as Louise has mentioned, we're going quite angelic, so it's extremely, extremely soft. Um, actually stay, steering away from using any eyeshadow, so we're going for very clean skin, almost translucent. I've used a combination of um, Touche Cloud, that's our iconic product. So I've used that all over the face, just as the first application. And then on the socket of the eye, I've gone for our darkest, darkest color in the Touche Cloud range, just to give a little bit of contour around the eye. Um, we're also going to use, obviously, the same product, just to give a, a bit of a cheekbone, just make them nice and prominent and sharp, and a beautiful soft lip. When I saw Warwick, I thought I was walking into a perfume ad. I mean, this guy is going to be big overseas. I heard he's doing a, a year overseas now. Uh, we took some pictures earlier just to share with my social media fans, just to give them a little present, all the girls that are following me. And he looks perfect in every shot. He, he really is a very lovely human being, which is rare because somebody that's that good looking um, is usually quite arrogant and, and self-aware of their own good looks. And he isn't. He's, he was just very keen to be on set and be a part of something different from his everyday life. That's great for my exposure. Um, definitely, I'm just starting out in the industry and uh, I guess um, to, to, to be exposed to people that uh, follow Louise, it's great for me. Um, obviously, I, I'm a big fan of music and uh, I love music videos, so to be in one is just it's kind of a dream come true. Um, and this is Sarah, to be, to be part of her, her performance is great. of my hair. I've been having a lot of fun lately in live performance, playing around with hairstyles that I would never have thought would suit me, especially the up styles. Um, I've always been very natural in how I've presented myself and it's quite limiting. So I had a blast just trying three different very strong uh, looks for the day. Loved it. Well, the, the first setup the, on the white background, um, very, very subtle makeup, very plain with the hair down, um, angelic almost. And then for the second setup, uh, the black background, a bit more, it's a bit more darker, so she had to go a bit more edgier with the makeup, darker on the, on the eyes and that. We are shooting the second scene now and flipping it around completely. So I'm wearing all black and um, the background is going to be black as well. I'm still singing to camera directly, really, really close up. Um, and the makeup is going far more dramatic and dark. As you can see, we're in the midst of doing it now. Definitely, as you've said, a little bit more vampish, a little bit more dark, but it's also not sort of like vampire dark per se, but it's more of a strong, more of a, more independent, more in control in a way. <laughs> so the skin is still very minimal. Okay. We've just highlighted obviously the center of the face just to give it a bit more sharpness. And then I'm using again the iconic product uh, Touche Cla just on the brows and also to sculpt the eye area and give it a bit more definition. What we'll also do is, we'll just do a little bit of a contour there. Just also just contribute to the sharpness of this scene that we're going for. Same thing applies to the hair. Definitely more pulled back. A bit of a tease on, on just on the front part of the face. And we're just gonna slick it back, giving it a little bit of texture, a little bit of shine. And yeah, I think that will be perfect just to give the portrait, to portray a more stronger, a stronger woman. It feels a stronger Louise. Yeah, <laughs> if that's possible. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it feels like we're putting together the pieces of something very, very artistic and not so literal. It's far more metaphoric and it this music video lets the audience make up their own mind about the meaning behind the song instead of dictating it to the viewer. And I really like that.
With this video, what I'm trying to capture with Louise is her voice, mainly her voice, because the song, um, it's beautiful, it's well written, and the melody with it is amazing. So, to, I don't want any distractions with the story and then someone drama and all that stuff, just to focus on her voice. That's what the main objective. The reason we shot just Louise's face is to focus on her voice, her, her singing, so that people actually listen to the song. When they look into the shot, they see her eyes and they connect with her on a different level. Four hundred miles is about a terrible breakup, and one person is deeply suffering, and they're angry that the other person doesn't seem to be suffering at all. It's a one-sided affair, um, and she's fighting demons, big demons, and it's 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 a very very sad, deep and meaningful song that I hope gives everyone goosebumps. It's beautiful. Very beautiful. Yeah, I love the way that it, uh, it sort of goes slowly and, and speeds up in the chorus. It's, yeah, I really enjoy that. Uh, the thing about Louise is the power of her voice, and then it's just her and the piano when she, she sings most of her live performances, and it's her voice that resonates with most people. I needed to shoot a new music video, and I have a great friend. Nikki Greenwall and I casually mentioned this and we thought we were a bit worried that our friendship might you know suffer or there might be an argument and we've never worked together apart from school projects <laughs> and uh, I was excited because I'm a huge fan obviously of how slick Nikki makes everything look and it, she really convinced me to go in a certain direction and to style myself in a certain way, which I hadn't done before, and make it very clean, and make it all about the message of the song, simplify it, use my eyes more than anything else. So that's why we had so many close-ups. And Nikki Studios, Greenwall Productions are here in Cape Town, and I had just done a shoot, I had just done a show in Cape Town, and it was just perfect timing. It was really, really good timing. Turn out the light, leave me standing here, tears run down my face, oh I have no fear, and the salt on my mouth gets bitter with time, I clench my fists, reach for the bottle, one last time I made all the rules, broke everyone now, you're laughing cause I'm the only one who's falling apart, I wish I could rip out, rip out. Stop.